Hey guys, welcome to Aurora Art Studios. My name is Tony and today I'm going to be drawing Sasuke Sage of Six Paths. If you're new here to the channel, consider subscribing and make sure you stick around for the whole video because I'll be giving you guys a few tips on how to improve your own artwork and I'll give you guys my thought process on completing this artwork as well. So my thought process behind creating this artwork was to really make Sasuke the main focus of it. Now, it was difficult, but you'll see how I do it later on, and I'll also give you a few, a few tips on how to do a drawing like this to make a certain part of it stand out more than the other part. Right, so stick around for that tip. Now, I didn't want to make it too alike, as if I did the Naruto's last week, but it turned out to be similar in, in that way because of how I wanted to portray Sasuke. So the idea behind it is that Sasuke at the front here is supposed to, it, this is what his stance is and what he's looking like while he's inside the Susanoo. So similar to like last week as Naruto had a stance where it seemed as if he was inside Kurama about to throw his Rasen Shuriken, same thing. Now if you want you can go check out that video, I'll leave it in the description down below just so you guys can check it out and see what I'm talking about. Now I did have a little bit of trouble coming up with the idea. Um, that's why it was really good that last week's Naruto um, was a big help. But what I did, but the way I got around a artist block, so to say, is a lot of reference. And what I did was I compiled everything together in my mind and did a few little sketches, see where it all came out. And in the end, this is how I felt I could portray Sasuke in the light that I wanted to. So that's another handy tip, a great one, in fact, where to make sure you get as much reference as possible, and reference meaning other artworks, other designs and drawings, just to see how you can help improve your own drawing, and to help give you a clear picture of where you want your drawing to go. Now throughout this drawing what you'll see is sometimes I do whisk over a few areas. That is because sometimes it does take a little longer than expected and there was a lot of errors, a lot of editing um, during those times and so for the video quality I, what I've done is I've, I've cut them out and I've just faded into an area where my process is very clear, very simple, easy for you guys to follow. That is a big reason as to why in my previous drawings and recently I haven't been showing you guys my primary way to start your drawing. What you'll see is me starting to do a draft overlay of a sketch. Instead of showing you guys how I go through the sketch process at the start. 
Now a lot of that is because I don't have a clear picture of where I want my artwork to go. So a great tip for you guys is to make sure before you start your artwork is, is to have a clear picture of exactly where you want or what you want your artwork to portray and look like. And believe me, this will save you time and this will make a lot of the decisions you make later on in your drawing much, much easier. Now if you guys want to see me do my sketches of the drawings from the start, then just let me know. I'll put a poll up just, just so you guys can vote whether you guys would like me to do that or whether you guys are okay with what I'm currently doing. What I'll do is I'll also link my other video of drawing Broly from the Dragon Ball Super movie where I do show you my entire process of the sketch and then lead on to the main drawing.
as you can see guys, what I've done is I've added an extra glow to both Sasuke's left and right eye, making sure that they stand out and really pop something that you guys really want to look at when you look at the drawing. Now this is a handy tip for any drawing, anything that you do, because what it would do is most of the attention of the viewer will be drawn to that point of the drawing. Now the other way that what I made Sasuke stand out throughout the artwork was I, I made him brighter than the Susano. Susano is darker in the back, Sasuke is brighter up the front, and I've also given Sasuke a drop shadow in the back. So another handy tip is creating a focus point of your artwork. Now my focus point was Sasuke, but what I've also done is I've added the lightning streams coming in like a V, traps you inside the artwork, making sure it's pointing down into Sasuke, giving you the subconscious effect that you want to stare at Sasuke instead of looking at the Susanoo, even though the Susanoo has a lot of bright points and Sasuke doesn't have as many bright points. So creating a focus point is very key if you're trying to get your audience to look at a certain area of your artwork. Alright guys, so there you have it. I really hope you like the artwork. Now, as you can see, I've made a few changes to it. I increased the contrast uh, and the saturation of the drawing. Mainly the Susana in the background, just to help Sasuke stand out even more at the front. Now, if you like the drawing, give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you liked about the drawing and what you liked about the video. If you're interested in seeing more artworks like this and more commentary helping you guys improve your own artwork, Consider subscribing to my channel where I'll be uploading a video every Monday. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss a single video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.